Yuya and Yuzu are together again. All the players have been assembled in the fusion dimension, and the race to the final battle is about to begin. We assume, probably, I don't know how much longer this one's going to go. We even have a trendy new opening credit thing to explain to us that thing we already know because they've droned it into our heads so much without actually giving us any context to it. So what did we do for the first episode of this brave new adventure? We brought back this guy. Um... Okay. I didn't care about him in his episode. I don't remember if that one was a single episode reaction or not. I don't know if that was once my computer had stopped working correctly. So I don't remember what I said about him. But from what I do remember from that episode, I don't really care about this guy. Um, and the thing about this whole episode is, was this duel pointless? Yeah. Was the only real thing that happened was introducing how Yuya's rollerblade things work? Yeah, did anything that happened in this episode going to have any real consequence on anything? Probably not, but I actually really liked this. Um, so again, first and foremost, the little thing at the beginning, don't really know why that's there. Um, seriously, if you're 113 episodes in, I'm pretty certain you at least know as much as there are four boys with the same face with four dragons. But I guess it's fine if you're just jumping in or whatever. But as for the episode itself, I kind of dug all this. Like, first up, the guy. I'm not going to remember his name. Who, who bloody cares? But the thing about it was that I like the concept behind the backstory. The idea of sending your kid away to an abusive school to learn how to play card games is silly. But the thing is, the way it's used, I thought, was effectively with this being a contrast between him and Yuya with how Yuya is taught to smile through duels and this guy is taught to cause pain through duels. I really thought that was neat. Also, another stylistic thing I liked was the injuries on him as he lost life points. They were legitimately crazy creepy. Like, using the CGI for that instead of the hand-drawn actually benefited for once because it made it feel otherworldly, wrong, not belonging in this universe. It just gave it this really nice, unnatural feel that I really enjoyed, and I really liked the way the guy acted throughout the episode, too. This felt more like an addiction than anything else. Like, he's just, like, destroying himself for this goal that really, at its core, isn't that important or necessary but seeing his dedication to it and his just commitment to it it is really creepy and first up i like the way you you reacted to everything for you really got a sense that you you wanted to help this guy and the thing is you actually bought why you understand everything about him and you get what his suffering and misery was for so it led for an all-in-all -all creepy really entertaining episode and i like the duel a lot too this wasn't just busting out random shit to win the game for the most part Yu Yu used a lot of logical strategies. I love the way Zhang Ke and Zhang Shen were using this, because I just assume whenever we see those cards, Odd Eyes Rebellion is coming out. But no, they were actually used effectively in this to allow for Yu Yu's strategies and combos. And I like the fact that we saw uses of cards like Drummerilla and Rebellion Dragon, and we really didn't see anything gimmicky show up till the end with the lobster. But by that point, you knew something new and different had to come out to make the duel work. And I really dug that. I just thought everything about this episode, for as pointless as it was, was handled about as well as possibly. The only thing that kind of confused me at the end there was when the whole floor gave away. I thought we were at the point where all the duels were like, all the damage and everything that's happening is real, so shouldn't that ground be gone? And if he's really falling through that hole, does that mean his corpse would just land in the sewers or something? But, you know what, that's a nitpick. Again, it's a stylistic thing. All in all, I thought this was a really good episode. I really enjoyed it. I liked what was at play and I thought it all worked great. But what did you think? In the comments section below, give me your thoughts on all this. And I actually have two questions this week. The first up is the TCG question, which is simply, what did you think of Nat's Domain Monarchs one, which not a lot of people were expecting. I mean, I think Domain Monarchs kind of works for an event where everyone's high strung trying to bust out their strongest monsters. But all in all, I actually thought PK Fire was going to win. And you look at the top 64 cut, that's the majority of it. But what do you think about that? And my other thing is, I am going to start showing duels and card fights on this channel. I actually have one recorded on my camera that I just need a few minutes to get up. But the thing is, would you all like that to be on this channel, or should I just start a separate channel that's all that? Just because obviously, you know, people might want to watch one, not the other. I don't know. Uh, give me your opinions on that in the comment section below. And as always, click to like and click to subscribe, because next week's going to be a Kaito duel.